Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. Did you know that a U.S. House Republican just drafted a bill to federally legalize marijuana? Well, if you didn't, in today's video, we're going to talk about that and three strong buy marijuana stocks with between 70 and 141% potential upside in the next 12 years to capitalize on this possibly huge catalyst. So let's get into it. All right, like I said, everybody, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully you find something of value in today's video. And if you do, don't forget to take two seconds, smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All right, so with a little bit of background and three stocks to cover, we're gonna jump right into it so as not to waste too much of your time. Here is the article we're looking at today. And this one came out of the tip ranks house and it says betting on marijuana legalization bill well analysts suggest three stocks to buy and just so you know they're all strong buy stocks guys but it says you don't normally think of federal regulation or the prospect of federal regulation being a catalyst for a sudden industry-wide spike in the share prices but that is exactly what we're seeing with cannabis stocks right now now the bill in question is being drafted by south carolina republican nancy mace she's staring you in the face right there in the beautiful blue dress the the discussion has been going on since the first week of the month, and her bill contains several key points, including a minimum wage of 21 for recreational use and regulation in a manner similar to alcohol. This bill differs from Senator Schumer's in one important point. Where Schumer, Schumer's put a 25% federal tax on pot, Mace's version would only impose a 3.75% excise duty tax. So I don't think you're gonna hear any complaints from anybody in the industry or those looking to make purchases when you tell them they're looking to save 21.25% if this new bill goes into effect when compared to the Democrats bill. Now, it is a huge milestone to see a Republican pushing a federal legalization bill for cannabis. This is definitely something we haven't seen before in a significant shift in policy. But there's definitely things we need to address before we even talk about the possibility of making some good money on the stocks. And the first is that the president doesn't have to sign this bill. Even if it gets all the way to his desk, he could completely shut it down. And in the past, he spoke on his not necessarily uh, fond ideas of the full legalization measures. However, if that isn't a concern, what could also be a concern is that the government isn't exactly a speedy entity and they only have a couple weeks left in the current legislative session to get any bills finalized and pushed through. So again, that could be an issue with them not being able to finalize this bill in time to get it sent up to the president's desk in the first place. But enough about the background and the possibility of it not playing out. Here are the three strong buy stocks. Number one on our list, Verano Holdings, ticker symbol VRNOF. And Verano Holdings is a $1.69 billion company based in Chicago. They're a major producer in the U.S. cannabis market. And they have 11 cultivation and production facilities providing cannabis products for 87 operating retail locations. And as you can see here on the tip rank screen, this is the number one as far as upside potential goes of all three of the stocks we're talking about today. I'm giving you guys the absolute best possibility one right off the bat. Verano has up to 141% upside potential in the next 12 months, going from a price tag of $13.28 today to possibly $32.10 in the next year. And again, it's a strong buy with all four analysts currently rating this stock a buy. Now, Verano has been working steadily to expand its footprint, and in October and November, it opened two new dispensaries, featuring its Zen Leaf brand in St. Charles, Illinois, and one in Las Vegas, Nevada. Additionally, the company announced on November 10th that it will be entering the Connecticut cannabis market as well. Roth Capital analyst Scott Fortune sees Verano as a compelling buy, especially after the stock's share price has fallen over the past several months. He says, and I quote, we believe uh, Verano is overdue for significant re-rating after the share lockup overhang and improved share liquidity similar to the top MSOs. With shares trading around 46% off its 52-week high, it represents a compelling valuation opportunity at these levels and remains our favorite name with the largest potential appreciation upside from strong fundamentals and ahead of potential incremental federal legislation. 
To that point, he gives it a buy rating and a $32 price target, implying a one-year upside of almost at the average of about 131%. The number two stock we're talking about today is Green Thumb. And Green Thumb, ticker symbol GTBIF, focuses on the medical and consumer aspects of the cannabis market and has a network that spans 14 US jurisdictions. The company boasts 16 manufacturing facilities, feeding product to 66 open retail stores, which sell half a dozen branded cannabis and cannabis product lines. The company's recreational products include pre-rolled cannabis cigarettes, vapes, edibles, and even social dosing cakes designed for smoking in groups. Looking at the potential upside for GTBIF, it's 90.98% in the next 12 months from 2416 today to possible 4614 in the next 12 months, assuming we see some strong movement going forward with this legislation. Again, all four analysts giving it an absolute strong buy. Now, Green Thumb has been opening a chain of retail locations under its house brand Rise in the recent months. The company's 65th store was opened in Bloomfield, New Jersey in September. And while the 66th location opened its doors in Mundelein, Illinois in October, that location will include a roll-through pickup window for medical cannabis patients. For the investment firm Needham, the analyst Matt McGinley sees Green Thumb in a solid position to continue its growth. And I quote, we see substantially less risk to margin and revenue estimates at GTI given mergers and acquisition integration and improvement in operating efficiency isn't really a theme for GTI into 22 in the way that it is for most of its peers. We believe them that they have the right strategic vision and record of strong execution to keep it on a path for continued profitable growth. All right, guys, the last stock on our list today is Cresco Labs. Cresco Labs, ticker symbol CRLBF. Now this company, likewise based in Chicago, also caters to medical and consumer marijuana segments. They have nine branded product lines operating in 10 states already and boasts 20 production facilities and owns 40 dispensaries. Along with that, they have 47 retail licenses already. And all of this represents approximately 35% of the company's growth in its production and retail, retail footprint this year alone. CRLBF is trading at $9.17 today, still under that $10 mark, but has a 78.74% potential upside in the next 12 months to a price target of $16.39 from seven analysts giving it a strong buy rating. The Cresco brand includes medicinal extracts, edibles, bulk leaf for smoking, and more. Their 40th location, which was a Sunnyside retail shop, opened in Oakland Park, Florida in October, and the opening marked the company's 11th Florida location, part of an expanding footprint in the country's third most populous state. As far as analysts and bulls for the company goes, Camilo Lyon rates Cresco Labs share a buy with a 20, I'm sorry, an 1832 price target. At current levels, this target suggests a 90% upside for the year ahead, which is slightly above the analyst average. All right, guys, so those are the three stocks we're looking at today. A lot of strong buy ratings coming out. This catalyst is getting a lot of people excited about what could happen. Of course, these are not my price predictions. I am not recommending you buy any stock at all. I am just providing information and entertainment purposes only. Um, I'm not your financial advisor, so don't make purchases based on what people on YouTube say. Anyways, guys, hopefully you found the information I presented today useful. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, bottoms up.